All right, hey, hey, what's up, everybody? This is Gascoly Savis from the Rounding Off Infinity Gaming Channel on YouTube, the E2KG Network podcasting channel on YouTube, aka Game Logic on Twitch. Back with another episode of the Replication Anecdotes. This is my mini series of live streams and let's plays focused on games in the vehicle simulation genre. Uh, this afternoon, specifically, we're going to be getting things a little bit shorty, playing Pacer the new anti-grav racing game from R8 Games. So, a game built mostly in the mold of kind of Wipeout, um, Red Out, if you've played uh, those types of games, uh, F-Zero. Uh, so, this is uh, from uh, former members of... Uh, the studio is made up of former members of Psygnosis, I think it was, that, uh, that developed uh, the original Wipeout for the PlayStation brand. Um, and so, they have gone off and created something similar. Um, I've... Spent some time playing this game and have figured a good chunk of this out, um, but I'm missing some of the uh, iconography on the tracks and whatnot, so uh, we're going to go ahead and play a little bit of, bounce back and forth between the campaign and play a little bit of the training. Uh, also, um, I could only play about an hour of this just because it's so uh, kind of psychedelic, uh, so we're going to bounce out and play some uh, Dirt 5 a little bit later on in the stream. So let's check out the training. Like I said, I'm not going to, um, play all of the training all at once. One of the things that I haven't figured out is I haven't figured out, uh, how to change the craft. So it's like you pick a craft, right? But it just keeps going back to... So if I pick the Zeus 1 craft, right, it just keeps always, it seems like it always goes back to... So you can't... Yeah, so you can't monkey with that. So I don't know how, they, they talk a lot about uh, customization in the game. I have not figured out how to get your custom uh, things to stick. So I apologize uh, for the lighting. I've got this window behind me this afternoon. And, uh, and it's not dark outside, so lighting I've set up. I haven't set up the best, probably, daytime lighting using uh, my floor lamps, but it is what it is. Yeah, so I just haven't figured out how to get Three, the craft to change. Three, two, one, go. set. Uh, some of these uh, tracks are copyrighted. I thought there was a selection. Ah, uh, here we go. Sounds. Yes, street. Uh, why is that not... Okay, why can I not... F oh, there. What the heck is that? Okay. Let's check that out and make sure that that's stuck. Song stream safe. So, one of the things... Change craft. That just lets it let you set it up, but it Yeah, I don't know from here. It lets you go into the garage. It lets you change the craft, so it changes that. But like it doesn't change it out here. And I have not, on, on on any of the single player modes that I've played, I have not been able to figure out, I haven't gotten the craft to change at all. 
So I don't know whether or not... Um, that is only available in multiplayer, or what? It would be frustrating if... Uh, Three, two, one, go. You just had no options for, like, driving your own craft. ready. Weapons training. Time to learn how to use some firepower, fly around the track, and destroy an opponent's craft as often as you can. Creating weapon loadouts. This tutorial will guide you through creating and applying a weapons loadout. Select the weapons menu. Highlight and select the weapons option to start building your loadout. See all the weapon loadouts you have created and selected for modification or removal. Let's create a new loadout by selecting the create loadout button at the top. Name your loadout. And I also haven't, uh, I'm assuming that because I've used this designation for a few different loadouts for two weapons. Any weapon can be equipped in either slot. Each weapon is unique with its own checked weaknesses for this tutorial. Select the left weapon slot to equip a nano rocket. Okay. Increase damage. Blah, blah, blah. It's the left mod slot. Created loadout. 
for spot fire later. I'm gonna create a press the back button to return to the event summer screen and see if we should the next one. Okay. It's no one's locked, okay. So maybe we'll play a little bit more. <laughs> We might play the whole tutorials, just to get it over with. Because maybe they'll tell me how to arm cosmetics, <laughs> something that I actually want. Three, two, one, go. always the, uh, the crazy with these games is you can get in fairly. It's really easy to like, figure out the basics, but you can just guess. But the game, these games are really scale to where you need to really understand.
Yeah, you really gotta slow down to grab weapons. All right, I think I'm good. Gear up. When the timer runs out, last position. Yeah, I know that. So I think I'm good. I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to play more tutorials for that. Yeah, this is where I got stuck yesterday. Well, again, here's where I don't... Yeah, I, I got a feeling you can't change your cosmetic loadouts. I don't know that you can change cosmetics in single player. I haven't uh, been able to check the audio mix balance, so I'll probably get an in-game clip at some point here, and I may need to take a minute to check that out. It's always tricky with these racing games. It's kind of hard to tell. Three, two, one. I don't know if your mic volume is balanced with uh, all the engine noise.
fourth, fifth. Down to the top three, so I'll have to run those again. I am blue. I am Gru. Alright, so everybody's finished up. Enjoy there. So we'll try the high speed performance uh, profile. Maybe a matter of the loadouts that I'm selecting that are keeping me from getting into the top three. So we'll give it a try. tactic for it, it seems like you can go high speed and get out ahead of everybody. 
Still don't win it. Still in fifth. Do not know how to get out of this funk. Defensive, I guess. Maybe that'll make me a little uh, more resistant to damage and uh, allow me to last longer in the race. We'll see. Okay, I took a clip here. I hopefully uh, took a clip last race that hopefully let me hear whether the audio mix balance is okay. So after this race, I'll probably check that out. Just a minute. Three, two, one, go. So I'm going to check out uh, this audio mix balance real quick. Thank you. 
Okay, it sounded like the audio mix balance was off just a bit, like my voice was just a bit too low, so I've uh, tweaked the uh, in-game audio down a bit and the uh, microphone up. Audio mix balance is always a little bit different for each game, so the first, uh, first live stream I always have to tweak it until I figure out where it's dialed in. Well, like I mentioned, we're going to be heading over to play some Dirt 5, probably in about 20 minutes or so. Did not pre-flight that game, so... I don't know if it's going to pick up my, uh, my last save or what, so we'll see what it do. Three. Three. Just don't know in this. I need to figure. I'm not sure exactly what's trying. It, it, it's bothersome because I have been doing fine in this game, and then I just hit this one note that I haven't figured out. That is just totally blocking me from progressing further in the game. But I definitely have to figure out. Do I need to focus on hitting all of the? Boost pads? Or getting all the shields. It should be. <laughs> one or the other, or a decent mixed balance of both. restart it like there's no point in going all the way back out i'm a doctor not an engineer well, i'm a doctor not a mechanic i'm a doctor not a bricklayer i'm a doctor not an escalator i'm a doctor not a coal miner <laughs> so i don't know whether i'm just gonna be stuck <laughs> here like you can't progress this is one of these problems with racing games where it's just a linear progression you, you can't progress Three, past this point two, in the game until you defeat this one, mode, so. Go. This event that is in this particular mode. It just seems like there's gotta be like one simple thing or one little nick that I'm missing. And I don't know what 
that is. And I don't know if it's I should let wait until my cur curse boost fills all the way up, so we're gonna try that this time around. is when I was goosing my boost more frequently I was up into like second. But again what I don't know right now is if being up in second at the outset of the race is really the thing. It's really a winning strategy for this mode. out because at least I can change my uh, performance package and see if that makes any difference. Captain, incoming message. thing about this is it's been out uh this game hasn't gotten a ton of coverage so there are no guides out right now i'm gonna go back and maybe see if there's something i can pick up in the tutorial in the training something somewhere here in the tutorial that, it, that I'm missing. Oh no. Wait, ah! So that's good, that helps me out, because I've never known whether or not... You can name loadouts the same name if it's, uh... Now maybe, so I've got credits, maybe, the, I mean, maybe that's the whole point is... One 
select your loadout. Oh, stink. I thought I assumed that the uh, weapons loadout was locked, <laughs> so I got so I took no weapons. That may not bode well for this tutorial. <laughs> I still want the tutorial that tells me how to customize my Three, ship so two, I don't keep driving the same one, plain old two. white craft. <laughs> That's the first craft on the list. Great. Maybe that's maybe that's what's wrong. Is there's I need to I have enough money to have unlocked some performance upgrades, and maybe I just haven't unlocked the performance upgrades I need to. Which, which is done. Which I haven't unlocked any. So uh, this is the elimination rack. Great. As I said, it was just one lap, but it's really I have to keep playing until everyone's eliminated. Sideways of the water. Some parts of the track. A left hand. Oof. Okay. Not such a good idea. Stadia or 
may have it on Epic Games, I'm not sure. But before the week is out, I may also load uh, one variant of shorts on here. We'll see. Don't really try and focus on uh, sticking with a genre or a single game type throughout the week. Standard race first over the line wins. So here's where I gotta go. Gotta go to the garage. This may be part of the problem is here's your performance, right? Create a loadout. Oh, that's weird. I didn't realize those training loadouts actually stuck. Increase acceleration, but reduces maximum turning angle. Well, so that shield thing is definitely... I mean, what I definitely need to beef up is... To get past that shield endurance thing, I definitely gotta beef... I don't know that. I don't think the handling is the answer. Now, are these performance characteristics per craft? Yeah, they are changing per craft. So, so I guess I, I guess I need to put this on the Garuda. I have no idea. So, if this is the Zeus one cosmetic loadout, which I I never get a chance to pick the cosmetic loadout. So don't know that that makes sense. But on performance. And they don't give you the name of the crafter, so you're just going off visual recognition, right? Now, it may not matter. It may apply these performance things to whatever craft you're on. Let's create, let's modify the Zeus P loadout for the Garuda. But whatever I do, I'm going to do uh, engine and uh, corrosive engine. Increases top speed, but reduces maximum shield capacity. I don't know that that's what I want to do. <laughs> I mean, I can always keep racing. I mean, I always get some credits when I finish, even when I don't win. So, I guess I can just keep doing that to get the different upgrades. So, we'll do... Um... How do I take that off? I guess the, so the loadout is only additive. And I don't know, it's, it's not like it's telling you here have maximum slots or whatever. Or maybe you can only... What, what is that? That's, so maybe you can only have one equipped on the engine at a time. Let's do corrosive. Yeah, you can only have one loaded per time. What is anti grab? Huh. Okay. I'm gonna focus on defense at least. I may apply some others. If I have money left over. Raw defenses increase maximum health capacity, but reduced maximum shield capacity. So I don't know. I haven't been able to tell in that game mode if once you lose shields, like you, the next hit you take is automatically that just wipes out all your health. So I don't know if this buff will help, but we'll try it. So corrosive. Corrosive engine, and raw defenses. All right, we'll try a handling buff. Fast pitch reduced track adaptation, but slightly increased acceleration when pitching. Uh, we'll try it. It's just... Just 
on me to run the pitch control, which I don't always think of when I'm racing. It's anti-gravity. Maximum lift, maximum float height, but reduced top speed. I don't want to do that. Unless the point... Uh, no. Minimum float height with increased top speed. We'll try that. Ooh, that's 1100, so that's not gonna... Increase top speed. You can go with the low rider, so let's do that. Okay, so now that's the Zeus P loadout, right? Performance package. Save those changes. I guess you just back out. Career set one. Shield survival. Zeus P. Okay. Let's see how that does. And then after this, I'm going to head over and uh, go ahead and try out some, uh, and play some Dirt 5. May have to monkey with the, I don't know. I don't know if we're off to monkey with the audio mix balance on that game as well. Just as the in-game engine noise will be different. Three. Incoming transmission.
I didn't even see that my shield had gone down. So, and I don't know how they figure out how many credits you're doing. Like, why is it giving me 240 credits for coming in eighth? I'm gonna go ahead and let it play it play out, though, because I could use those 240 credits to buy different performance upgrades. Event complete. I guess you, uh... I guess some of those you get for um, for the number of passes you make. So my best placing. So it says that I place fourth. I don't remember place. Also gives me a different view too. I I don't know that I've ever finished in fourth. The only thing I could the closest thing I can think of is that I was in fourth at the point where I got destroyed. I've been thinking that it's ugh, stink. I've been thinking that it's it's your placement is based on the total distance you've traveled. But the fact that I got so many credits. Three, two, one, go. I don't know if it's total distance you've traveled or what position you're in at the time you get destroyed. So that would make a big difference in how I'm approaching this mode. And that gets me back to the... It makes sense to get up to an early lead as much as possible so that you're as far ahead as you can be when you get destroyed. So I'm gonna let this thing go for the full time once again and just see... makes the most sense that I get placed based on where I'm, what position I'm in when I blow up versus total distance travel. Look that corner a little too tight. I'm in the second right now. And I, I want to say, it may be that you just have to go a minimum of 10 kilometers. Because if it's based on position you're in when you blow up, then, then the tactic then becomes focus on your lead, and not on your endurance as much. I know it's called Shield and Gears Mode. I'm up in the first now, so we're going to see how this works out. Focus on keeping that lead. Focus more on 
here, so, uh, so 24.26 kilometers. It's, it's just, it keeps dropping me. Just gonna see how this ends up. It just doesn't make any sense. It, do it doesn't make any sense that the game's actually putting me down at eighth, right? But giving me 215 credits, that makes no sense, or unless it's... Because people came in after me that got lower credits. Now my total time on track, yeah, that's eighth. It says that that's your position now. Oops, I didn't pass. I, bu I must have come in fourth. <sighs> so that's my performance package. Guess I'm going to try it one more time. Maybe. I'm going to see what this... Objective is gain distance. Yeah, it's just, it's based on your total distance around the track, and I just keep. So I feel like what's clearly the problem is I just don't have the right performance package. So I'm gonna try shifting things around, and then. Uh, Try it one more time, and that's gonna be it. <laughs> just no point me banging my head against this performance. I only have 670 credits. So I tried the corrosive engine. I didn't really necessarily feel like that was the right thing. Tuning top speed. Price is only 800. Forced frames, increased maximum shield capacity, but reduced maximum health. That's 8:30. So I say I'm only gonna try it one or two. Well, there's probably two or three more attempts. <laughs> probably, quite honestly, because I'm too close to unlocking one of these upgrades, and I think might actually make the difference in how well I do at this mode. See how it goes. I don't know why I'm getting so many credits though. Three, two, one, go. Nothing but just I, I need to get the, the right unlocks to get the right performance package. I, can't keep, I, can't. I think I've tried literally every different type of strategy to try on this. And I think it's just a matter of I just don't have like the brute performance and defense that you have to have. Hit a 
certain point where it's just constantly draining your shield whether you contact the sides or not. So eventually getting shield more shield power-ups like it does nothing. me off from getting over to the uh, shield pickup. super crazy about this idle time why they're having to wait for this to wrap up so you can get your credits because i assume if you quit early that warning message is giving you about uh getting a dnf means you don't get the credits out of it okay go back to the garage Increases top speed. Okay, I've got enough for that. Let's go ahead and buy it. And then the next thing I'll be coming back for is reinforced frames. Because I don't think. Got higher top speed, better braking, better defense. Let's see if this makes any difference. Shield survival. Let's use P performance package. Yeah, well, whenever that was that I got fourth, I certainly have not done any better than that. That was apparently quite some time ago. It's Brittany, bitch. <laughs> Definitely on the struggle bus with this one. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, so that's... <sighs>
like the most infuriating race man ever. Like, I just don't know that picking up shields is helping. I guess we're going to try out one more upgrade. Let's <laughs> see if that does it. There's one defense upgrade that I thought might help. Is it reinforced frames? I think I'm gonna go ahead and flip over and play some uh, dirt. Cause this has got me. Uh, this is becoming a grind. <laughs> I'm not down with this at all. Come back and play some more of this a little bit later. And right, I'm gonna put you guys on the BRB scene. Uh, I'm gonna flip games. I'm also probably gonna take a little break. So give me a few minutes, and we will be right back.
All right, welcome back, everybody. Like I said, I switched games from uh, Pacer, the anti-grab game by uh, former Devs of Psygnosis, to some Dirt 5. A little frustrating getting through that shield endurance uh, mode, so we'll see how this does. And uninstalled and reloaded Dirt 5, so... back at the right place in my game safe. So I haven't played in <laughs> quite some time. So hopefully I'm just not completely dirt. The audience with dirt is always split as they go uh, back and forth between dirt rally and dirt itself. Dirt being the more arcadey type of racing, and dirt rally being the more uh, simulation style. I like both series, and uh, don't mind going back and forth each year. As much as I uh, love the dirt rally series and getting up my uh, wheel and pedals and playing those on PC, it's, those games are also very stressful. <laughs> so, I like playing the uh, more arcade style. So I'm playing with the uh, Elite Controller Series 2 today, this week. myself every time I think I've got some huge lead with these guys, they're actually, the AI here sticks pretty close. So what I don't know is if in the game save, could I only have one event in this three race series that I hadn't completed, so I don't know if it put me back in that, right back in that third event, or if it had started me over. Said it. I didn't think about. I forgot that they put real tracks here in the dirt games. So I need to go and turn those off and make sure I haven't. I don't get pinged for a copyright infringement. Money! Additional liveries. Unlocking all the things. I'm not sure the one race. Alright, 
let's, uh, let's go down the back all the way out. Let me put you guys on the BRB scene in case uh, it reveals some personal info in my profile. Be right back. So it did not start me, ooh, yeah, it did not start me over, picked up at the right place within the championship, so I apologize, I know it's going to be a little boring, but uh, because I'm pretty sure they've got copyrighted music scattered throughout this thing, I had to turn it off in both the menu and in-game, so I'm just going to be going with the in-game audio today. I'm going to play down this other parallel branch though. Only the sound of my creaking chair to keep us company. Uh, we are going to have to create a livery for that. To use a livery editor, a gamepad must be connected to this way. I I'm on a gamepad. Uh, a gamepad must be connected as the primary input device. I don't get that. Controller. What the heck is it beefing me about? I don't want to use the. Ah. No. I hope you got some sick coilovers because this land rush is gonna. <laughs> it's really frustrating. Like I don't understand that. That makes no sense whatsoever. It also makes no sense they can't get out of it until after the thing event starts. <laughs> what is going on with this? Forget that. As the primary input device. Connected devices controller. So is it flipping out because it's not uh, in just a straight control? Like, uh -oh. are you kidding me? So it's just that it needed to be set as the prize. <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> exactly. Straight cheese. Uh, livery picker is none. I don't have pattern. All these patterns unlocked yet. Okay. Uh, sure. Base layer. Channel fill. I don't. I 
have any of those unlocked. Okay. Color picker channels base layer, layer one. Channel fill. So that you can either fill it. Uh, Alright, we'll just keep it on color. I, just, I think I need to make it more complicated than that. Okay. Oh. So, so is the base layer. Is the base layer. Layer one, layer two. Sure. Layer three. Wheel color. Okay, so I think we're good. Sponsor editor. Hmm. Layout one. So. so my only problem is like I just don't know like if I, am I only going to use this vehicle like one time. disappearing. But you can't see it. <laughs> where do you put it where you can see it? I guess, oh, okay. So I guess it's what it was telling me was I was putting it somewhere where you can't see. And I guess when you can see it, it'll stop flashing. Decal editor, so that's it. Sponsor editor, okay. Livery editor, okay. I think everything's good. Save and quit. Okay, cool. So that's a thing. All right, we will. So that's already selected. Selected anyway. <laughs> These games are always eerily quiet with no music. He's not looking at some engine noise. <laughs> Uh, 
you. settings brown look back oh look back is the R stick okay there's all sorts of havoc back there I assume when it's a dirt race that it's uh, point to point, but I make that same mistake. That, well, Forza does a little better job. Eh, I don't know. I probably make that same mistake in Forza too, assuming that uh, any rally type event is always point to point until I look wherever on the HUD it tells you that it's not. Either this is relaxing because it doesn't have as much going on on the screen and it's not as fast and uh, it's not as all weird and topsy-turvy and vertigo-inducing as uh, Pacer. <laughs> or just the HUD is laid out nicer. Not sure which it is. Hey. How you doing? Say, this game is so sparse in comparison to other versions of Dirt. They must have spent all the time in development dealing with all the next-gen hoo-ha. There's little things like no sound effects on like the trophy and award screens and things like that. Super sparse. All right. I think the eerie silence is uh, creeping me out too much, so I think I'm just going to turn it back on <laughs> take my chances. Uh... Yeah, just not having any of that background music is just too bothers. <laughs> okay, so there's a payoff there. At least you use the same vehicle again. Because that's the only one I have available. So there was some value added in spending that time on the livery. Hey, what's that sound? Is it thunder? Wrong! It's a stampede, but not of the traditional variety! Snakes? Yeah, I figure I get copyright hits for my uh, intro music on YouTube anyway. <laughs> and I don't monetize there, so it doesn't really matter. Natural landscapes. I don't think, uh, and usually Twitch doesn't ping you for the in-game music when you didn't provide it when it's a part of the game soundtrack. So it should be okay there. YouTube might pick it up. The copyright Right in front, but since I don't monetize, it should be uh, no impact anywhere. So hopefully that'll be the case. All 
All right, didn't quite get as much done today as I wanted to. Kind of being in the grind a lot on uh, Pacer, trying to get past that Shield Endurance event, which I still have to monkey with. So the one thing I'm happy about is, oof, uh, this is, the streaming PC here is one of my uh, AMD powered machines, well more specifically it's up a little bit so I got some room to maneuver here, some room to pass. I didn't pay attention because I was talking while the announcer was talking so I don't know why this mode is called Stampede Mode. Tons of traffic in my rear view. What is that? It's just water. Okay. I didn't know if that was a solid obstruction. I was trying to avoid it. Switchbacks are making it tough to really pick up speed and keep it. Right. I think I made the better choice by taking the high road. I wanted to cut inside of him, but just was not able to hold the line. Chivo! Oh! It's okay, we'll take that. It's better to go ahead and hit the wall banger than get, way, get the vehicle way upset. That yeah, doesn't quite handle it in the turns like, <laughs> like a hovercraft. <laughs> Always a little tough to make the switch uh, mid-session when the physics are similar but way different. It's actually easier to switch almost to a completely different genre of game. Oh no! <laughs> totally dirt this event. Stink! Yeah, I'm just not going to be able to make that ground up. I'm still in seventh. I thought I at least caught one guy back up. Because that's the only way to get ahead is to cut underneath somebody like that, but then I lose. Uh, it's always going to cause me to go wide in the turn or cut the turn too narrow. Nope, 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 nope. Take the high road. Yeah, okay. We may as well <laughs> play that event over. <laughs> Just to... Ah! 
Spend some more time with Pacer off stream to try and just get past that sticking point. Like I said, the problem with that game is uh, on Xbox at least it's new. It came out in the fall for other uh, for other platforms, but it just hasn't been a ton of buzz and coverage of it, so there aren't any guides out. Not, and I wasn't able to find on the community pages on Steam either. Uh, like tips and tricks on beating the shield endurance mode or, or how to customize your vehicle in single player. Yeah, it seems like if I could hold on to <laughs> keep from putting my nose in the wall. Let me just be going ahead and wrap it this mode up. This is going off nailing it down. Thanks so much for joining in this afternoon. For anybody who happened to swing by the live stream, I appreciate you. For anybody out there watching the archive version of this Let's Play on the Rounding Off Infinity Gaming channel on YouTube, I appreciate you as well. Please feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you can just receive a notification whenever I post new content. Uh, I will be back on tomorrow night playing some more Pacer and uh, Dirt 5 on the back end of the live stream. Until then, take care of yourself. Stay safe out there. Play the games that you like and stream the games that you love. Once again, I'm Game Logic from Twitch, uh, also on the Rounding Off Infinity Gaming channel on YouTube, and co-host on the E2KG Network podcasting channel on YouTube. Uh, we do live shows of the Enough to Keep Going weekly games podcast right here on this channel when I'm on, um, so pretty frequently. So check here on Thursday nights at about 8:30 p.m. Eastern. Until next time, that's going to do it for me. Good night, good luck, and good gaming. Talk to you later. I'm out of here. <laughs>